Welcome to a presentation of using Unipass and CVS Suite together. Now we're using Unipass version 1.9 here, as you can see there on the About dialog. And we're using that together with CVS Suite 2009R2 version 2.01, as you can see there. Or you can also check it using CVS Suite Studio, the title shown there in the title bar. Unipass and CVS Suite cooperate together using the SCCI interface. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add an existing project to the CVS Suite repository. So CVS Suite allows you to keep track of the changes to your Unipass projects. So we add it to the server using the file menu there in Unipass. Now we need to fill in the connection string. This is sometimes called the CVS root. It's the connection string between the client and the server. We need to know the server name. We need to know the protocol, which is usually SSPI. That way it authenticates automatically with your Windows login. And we can double check that using CVS Suite Studio, which will usually automatically find your server. Looking at the properties there, we can see that's the connection string. And we can compare that to what we have generated here. They match. We hit the fetch list button down there on the right. And that just confirms the connection to the server. We can see that uh, the server listing has correctly appeared. So we just press the OK button. This starts the addition of your project to the CVS Suite server. We have to hit OK on this button here. Just checking that uh, the results are that that first stage was successful. The next phase will take a little bit of time uh, as your project is added. The time it takes does depend on a few different factors. When it's finished, that means that your project is now connected to the CVS Suite server. You should always close the project before doing anything else just to ensure that Unipass correctly clears everything out of its memory and it knows that the project is now connected up to version control. We can also have a look on the disk here and we'll now see that the project has these extra icons on it, in this case the little padlocks. We're using a reserved versioning system here. CVS Suite can be con configured for reserved or unreserved type versioning. So a concurrent type development or a, uh, a lock and go type development. Here we're using the default lock and go type development, which is mostly what the SCCI interface was originally designed for. So let's work through a quick sample here. We open something here in, in, uh, in Unipass. We can see we can't change anything. Everything's gray. So we hit the checkout option. And now we reopen it. It's now all black and we can make a change. So your suite does support concurrent versioning if you prefer that mode of operation. But here we're demonstrating a reserved scenario. We can do the same thing again. So we've checked it in. We can check it out again. Make another change. And this could be another person on your team, of course. One person probably wouldn't be making all of the changes. But every time that you make a change within Unipass, 
the CVS Suite software will track what that change is. Having this list of changes, we can of course view them graphically. There we go. We can right click those options as well and, and actually see a side by side diff. We've got plenty of examples of that on the web already, so we won't do that again. You can check out that project or open from the server. Uh, on a variety of different PCs or onto a shared network folder. So in this case we're going to uh, check it out or open from server to a network location. You can also use like a C drive or, or whatever you like. So this is maybe what somebody else in your team would do now that you've added the project to source control. They do open from server Find the server, find the repository, find the project within there, in this case the mobile web project. Specify a place that we're going to check it out to, in this case the, the network location. Could be your My Documents folder or something like that. Pressing OK starts that process. Let's check that we want to create that directory. Now there is a little bit of a, a gotcha here. You have to remove that project name from the path on the open from server dialog. If you do not complete this step, uh, the open from server operation will fail. We want to make that very clear that you must remove that before you can continue. You press the OK button, there will be a bit of a delay before the open from server action starts when we get that uh, hourglass prompt and depending on the speed of your client and the server and the number of programs it will take a little while for this initial action to complete. In our example it was a couple of minutes and now here it is. The open from server is completed okay and we can see all of that same information as we could see on the original PC. Again, you can't make a change until you check it out. So the open from server is distinct from checkout. Uh, we do get a bit confused with our naming of these things sometimes. Some people refer to that open from server action as checking it out and the checkout action as something such as reserving or editing, but in the Unipass language, it's open from server, check out, make a change, check in. If you're familiar with something like Tortoise CVS, then different words are used for the same actions. But there we go, we've completed a check in, check out on the other copy of the project now. So, thank you for watching this demo of how to use Unipass and CVS Suite together.